So Intel sent us a couple of really fast SSDs. These are from their M mainstream series. So today we're going to talk about performance on these drives in both a single drive and in a dual drive RAID 0 performance. We're also going to take them apart and show you what's under the hood because we thought it was kind of cool. So stay tuned. So Intel's drives uh, on the mainstream series drives that we have here today, they use an MLC chip. So you can see here there's 10 on the back side of the drive, and then on the other side there's another 10 flash memory chips. So each one of those, this is an 80 gig drive, so they're each 4 gigs. Then you can see here we've got the SATA interface, and then we've got a cache chip made by Samsung actually. Samsung's uh, getting into all of these drives. And then right here we've got the Intel controller, which has very advanced wear leveling techniques. So Intel's actually claiming that their MLC drives will be as reliable as any mainstream consumer could ever need. Also, that's what gives you the incredible read performance is these flash chips paired with this controller. These drives can read up to 250 megabytes per second individually and we'll talk about RAID performance later because that's really exciting. Now once you take it apart you can see that the actual SSD takes up like no space. These are very thin and actually very light. It's uh, pretty cool to take it apart. Hopefully we didn't break it. Mugshot. Well, we have to find some way to make this interesting. It's just, it's a drive. Anyway, let's talk about the speed of these drives a little bit. The Intel drives are widely regarded right now. I mean, by the time this video launches, it could change, but they're widely regarded as the performance leaders. They can read it up to 250 megabytes per second, which is phenomenal for an MLC drive. And they can also write at 70 megabytes per second, which is it's good. It's not the best, but it's pretty good. But what you do get is you get the high quality Intel controller. That means no skipping, no hitching, and excellent random write performance. So uh, I've got the graphics, uh, I've got the benchmarks up there with HD Tune, and let's talk about RAID performance. Now RAID, that's where it's at with the SSDs, because really SSDs still suffer as far as write performance goes compared to traditional drives. A magnetic drive can usually do between about 120 megs per second down to about 80 megs per second writes across the whole disk, whereas an SSD like this is limited to 70 megs. Now you do get the better access times, but again, you're, you're giving up performance in some way, so it doesn't seem like a perfect solution. You've also got lower capacity, but you've got that great reliability. Now Intel actually even includes extra capacity on these drives so when they know something is about to fail they will start to write to new flash memory so you're going to get even extra life out of it. So that brings us to RAID 0. A lot of enthusiasts don't run RAID 0 which is two drives uh, reading and writing to both at the same time for speed but you don't get any data redundancy. You lose one drive you lose everything. SSDs with their reliability you can RAID 0 them to your heart's content. So that means you can take two SSDs they scale incredibly well. These two actually running in RAID 0 got us almost 500 megabytes per second reads and almost 150 megabytes per second writes. It's going to kill any hard drive out there and you start to overcome the capacity problems because you put two together you got 160 gigs. Seeing this like $500 drive disassembled on the table in front of me kind of uh, brings brings me to my, my one sort of bad point about the Intel drives. They are among the most expensive on the market, but speed kills and it'll kill your wallet just as much as it'll kill you if you race down the road. So. Uh, the Intel drives, again, among the fastest, but among the most expensive. Now, something to be aware of, and something that I observed when I was testing the Intel drive versus the Corsair one we talked about before is, day to day, you're not going to notice a huge change going from like a lower end sort of uh, higher capacity but lower speed SSD to a faster SSD. It's not like going from a hard drive to an SSD in the first place. However, if you're doing something that requires a lot of sequential reads and writes, running a couple of these drives in RAID 0, you're going to notice a huge difference, something like a video editing or anything else working with really large files. So anyway, our conclusion is it's fast. Thanks for watching NCIX Tech Tips.